Welcome back to Bravo Breaking News. I am your host, Kim, aka Bravo Breaking News on Instagram. And I am coming at you today with some news that we've all been waiting for. And that is the Vanderpump Rules Season 11 premiere date. Yes, we have gotten a lot of Vanderpump Rules news in the past 24 hours. We had Ariana on Watch What Happens Live last night. We had the trailer drop today. We have even more details that have dropped since the trailer was released. And I am here to break it all down. But before I dive in, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any Bravo breaking news. So I don't know about you, but ever since the reunion finale last season, I have been waiting with bated breath for this season to premiere. We heard that it was going to be in January, but today we found out that the new premiere is set to launch on January 30th. So that is when episode one will debut on Bravo TV. And Bravo is seated and ready, and they are going to milk the next two months for all that it's worth because they had Ariana on Watch What Happens Live last night. And while she does have a lot to promote, she also spilled a lot about the upcoming season. So of course, Ariana shared quite a bit about her run on Dancing with the Stars, about the news about her new Broadway debut, which congrats Ariana, extremely well-deserved, and everything else that's been going on in her life since Scandaval. But of course, Andy was not going to let her out of the clubhouse before she dished on some updates regarding her and Tom and her status with the other members of the group. So first, the question that everyone wants to know, are Ariana and Tom still living together? And the answer is unfortunately, yes. It sounds like there is potentially a legal battle going on between Ariana and Tom regarding their home because she shared that while they are still living together, Tom doesn't want to sell the house, but Ariana does. And until they reach an agreement, nothing can be done. And this, I feel so sorry for Ariana about because this has to be probably the most difficult part of what she's been going through. She is unable to truly let go of Tom because she still owns a piece of the house. Now, she did share that she's been staying in an Airbnb since she had been filming Dancing with the Stars and will probably be staying in New York for quite some time for her Broadway run. So her days of living with Tom are probably numbered at this point, but still, this has to be very difficult for her to go through and I really hope she resolves it soon. She also shares where she stands with the rest of the cast when they played one of our favorite Watch What Happens Live games. The cast member that's been most loyal to her is Katie, of course. They've been, you know, working on the sandwich shop. She does say that something about her is currently in limbo and there is no opening date still. So we won't be seeing that this season of Vanderpump Rules, hopefully next season. Who cries the most? Lala, which is kind of surprising seeing as Lala usually doesn't show a lot of emotion, but it kind of seems like, you know, this season being on the fence between Tom and Ariana has definitely taken a toll on her. Who cozies up the most to Sandoval? Brock. And this does not come as a surprise seeing as if you watched my stories during BravoCon weekend during the Vanderpump Rules panel, Brock did stand up for Sandoval during the panel once again. It seems like him, Sheena, and Sandoval are on good terms. They hang out. So this comes as no surprise to me. The biggest pot stirrer, Sheena Shea. And watching the trailer, if you guys haven't watched it already, make sure to go over to my Instagram and watch it right now because Sheena is definitely the pot stirrer of the season. And it is for a reason that you guys will not believe. I'm going to get into the trailer in a second, but... This does not come as a surprise if you've seen the trailer. Biggest flip-flopper is Schwartz, and that also doesn't come as a surprise to me, seeing as, of course, he's going to stand by Sandoval's side, but he's probably struggling with it, seeing as Sandoval is, you know, a worm. Ariana also shared an interesting fact that none of the other cast members besides Katie really drank this season. So we know that Sandoval was sober for a very long time. Whether he still is, I don't know. But Schwartz... Sheena? Brock? I mean, James? Even James was starting to drink again last season. So why everybody all of a sudden was sober, I don't know, but good for them. So those are just some interesting tidbits that Ariana shared on Watch What Happens Live. But today, we got even more details when the explosive season 11 trailer dropped. Again, if you guys have not watched it, go over to my Instagram at Bravo Breaking News and watch it right now because... 
man, I am shook. And there are a lot of details that somehow did not get leaked and are featured in the trailer. So let's break it down. First of all, we learn that, of course, Sandoval is dating. He's single and ready to mingle. And it's going to be really funny to watch those scenes, who he picks to date, what the girls are like. And then we get this scene of Ariana being like, the worm is worming. The worm is worming. And I have a feeling that this worm with the mustache thing is not going to be let go anytime soon. I love that it stuck with him. I think it will be his legacy. So the worm is worming. We also do get a glimpse of Ariana's new man, Dan. I was wondering how much they were gonna film together and it kind of seems like more than we originally thought. What about moving here? And in the scene, Ariana is asking him if he wants to move to LA because as you guys know, he lives in New York and obviously a long distance relationship isn't ideal. We know that as of now, he has not moved to LA. So I'm interested to learn more about that relationship dynamic. We also see, as we saw in some of the spoilers, that Schwartz and Joe, yes, Joe, Schwartz's former roommate, is definitely entering the chat and her and Schwartz are kind of maybe dating. But it seems like she's not the only one because there is this girl that shows up in the trailer who shares that she has a crush on both Katie and Tom Schwartz. I have a crush on this worst couple. There are scenes of her making out with both of them, which is kind of crazy seeing as we have never seen Katie dip her toe in the lady pond. But I am totally here for it. I want Katie to, you know, experiment, have fun, do whatever she needs to do because she deserves happiness, but not if the girl is also hooking up with Tom Schwartz. But it kind of seems like she's seeing it as a competition. Maybe it's all fun and games. Who knows? We will learn more. Now, let's get to the real bombshell that was dropped during the trailer, and that is Schwartz and Sheena. So Schwartz has a sit down with Lala and reveals that Years ago, him and Sheena made out in Vegas and he actually cheated on Katie with Sheena. I've cheated, I was a makeout slut. Made out with Sheena like Vegas. No one even knows that. What? Like, what? Mind blown. I mean, nobody saw this coming. This never got leaked. This has never been shared with anybody at all. We've never heard anything about this. And this is actually crazy and Kind of makes me want to turn on Sheena. Like, what the hell were you thinking? It's okay for the guys to be scumbags. We expect it from them. But Sheena, girl, I mean, wrong road, wrong road. This is going to be very interesting. It seems like, you know, obviously Katie catches wind of this and it does not go down well. As if Sheena and Katie did not already have issues this is going to magnify them quite a bit. So it seems like Katie and Sheena, we should be ready for that feud to come. And Sheena actually dished a little bit more detail into this makeout session thanks to our friend Danny Pellegrino on Instagram who commented on Sheena's post today with, Sheena, you made out with Schwartz and we're just now finding out about it? How could you do this to us? Question mark. She replies, things that were supposed to go to the grave, but it's not exactly what you think. Stay tuned. He replies, can't wait, but can you at least confirm or deny that it happened at the Golden Nugget? Love Danny, always making light of these crazy situations. But what does Sheena mean when she says it's not what we think? How can it not be what we think? They made out. I mean, was it a dare? Was Katie around them? I don't know. Let me know if you guys have theories in the comments below. And then the trailer ends with this kind of not shocking moment of Lala seemingly being jealous of Ariana. We've heard that a lot of the cast might potentially be turning on Ariana this season because of all of her fame and success following Scandaval. And we have Lala closing the trailer with the line, I have never experienced someone who gets cheated on and suddenly she becomes God. I've never experienced someone who gets cheated on and suddenly becomes God. And that is actually a scene from the finale party. You can tell because they are in this, you know, red draped room wearing gold. And that is from the finale party that they filmed. So that is proof that throughout the season, maybe things aren't going well with Ariana and the rest of the group. And it might culminate at the season finale party. So we got a lot of Vanderpump Rules news coming at us in the last 24 hours. And I could not be more thrilled. You know, we went through Scandaval for several months this year. It's finally died down. We did get a bit of a break, but I don't know about you guys. 
I'm ready for it to be back. I need these people back on my screens. I need to see what they've been up to. I need to know the dynamics of the group. You know, we got a little bit of BravoCon, but we did not get really any details or insights into really what went down this season. So I am so excited for the new season. Again, if you haven't watched the trailer, head over to Bravo Breaking News on Instagram. You can also see the cast photos and more. And make sure you tune in to the premiere on January 30th. We will be here to cover all of the breaking news and headlines that come up before then. And of course, we'll be recapping all the episodes each week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything.